dating capital of the world in color. We're celebrating Father's Day on the dating game. And here's the star of our show and your host, Jim Lai. your personal taste, Father's Day is like Mother's Day, only you don't spend as much. Or as Clarence Buddington Kellen said of his father, he didn't tell me how to live, he lived and let me watch him do it. Good idea. This Sunday we pay tribute to the state of fatherhood across America, and this afternoon it illuminates the dating game, because playing game one will be the actor-singer son of one of America's favorites, actor-singer father. Game two brings us the many talented Jan Murray, who will be questioning three eligible bachelors for his daughter, Celia Murray. But first, here's something we know will interest you. So far, we've been keeping the identity of our first young bachelor a secret from the three delightful young ladies he'll be questioning. We will tell them that in honor of Father's Day, his father is as well known as he is. Let's meet them, and here they are. Our first young lady has won quite a few beauty titles, and she practices judo. She plays tennis, and she plays softball. Here is Lori Wagner. Lori, welcome. Our second young lady fills her days as a model, as a sales girl, and she's majoring in psychology as a sideline. May we say, as a switch, she works for the YMCA, believe it or not. Her name is Linda Altizer. The YMCA. A secretary for a floral firm, our third charming young lady likes sailing to Catalina Island. She plays tennis and golf. Her name is Deborah Snyder. Good luck, Debbie. And that's our beguiling and bewitching covey of cuties for game number one. Now, in order to keep our young gentleman from hearing anything about the gals, he's been isolated off stage in a soundproof room. I'd like you to meet him right now. One of television's brightest new actor singers, he'll be co-starring this fall with his lovely stepmother, Shirley Jones, in ABC television new comedy series with music, The Partridge Family. His father is the talented Jack Cassidy. We'd like to welcome David Cassidy. Hello, David. How are you? Good luck with the new series. And good luck today. There are three lovely gals over there, David. Uh, one of them will be yours for a date. Of course, you choose the one you prefer on how they answer your question. Okay, we'll start with a hello. Number one, would you please say hi to David? Hello, David. Thank you. Number two? Hi, David. And number three? Hello, David. All right, they're already David. If you're set, you may begin. Good luck. Okay, that's for at number one. What are you tired of hearing your date say to you? Oh, I'm so tired of my date telling me to cross my legs. I seem to sit there and just, I have my hands folded in my lap and... Uh -huh. I look prettier with my legs crossed, so that's what I'm tired of him saying. Okay, number two. Well, my date usually doesn't say that much, so I don't talk to him. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, number three. I get tired of my date asking me where I want to go. I like them to have imagination. I see. Okay. Um, that's right, number one. Yeah. My roommate and I are planning to install a closed circuit TV in my house. What would you do if you came by to see me, knowing that our time together was being televised? I would love it, because television is my bag, just like being on this show. So I think that that would be a real good way to get me over to your house. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what would you do if, uh, if it wasn't televised? If it wasn't televised? Uh -huh. Well, maybe you could arrange something else, okay? Uh, okay. Number two? Uh, what would I do if you had a closed circuit TV? TV, right. I'd probably be over at your house every day. Oh, uh, okay, number three. <laughs> if you had a closed circuit TV, we'd have to work up uh, a routine for people. And I'm sure it would be really well known because we go so well together. Uh, I see. Okay, sure. thank you. Um, bachelorette number two, would you rather go to A, B, or C with me? Mmm, all three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number uh, one? Yes. yes. Same question? Same question, right. I'd go to number A because that's the top, and I think we'd make the top together really beautifully. 
to number one. I know the other girls feel badly. Is there any particular reason why you chose number one, David? Uh, no. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we'll see them and then see how you feel, okay? First of all, I'd like you to meet the gals you did not select. Bachelorette number two is uh, Dimple. She is a model, a sales girl majoring in psychology. She works for the YMCA, believe it or not. Her name is Linda Altizer. Linda, come on and say hello to David if you would, please. Linda, thank you so very much. Wait right here, we have something for you. You also didn't choose number three, David. And she is a secretary. She enjoys sailing out to Catalina Island. She loves playing tennis and golf. She has some great answers for you, too. Her name is Deborah Snyder. Deborah, come on and say hello, please, to David. Well, as a reminder of your visit to the dating game, ladies, you'll each receive from Famous Airway Luggage this attractive cosmetic case with a bold and sassy look quality construction is guaranteed for a full five years. All new to you from Airway with our thanks. And again, Jeff, thank you so very much. Thank you, Deborah. Good luck. All right, David, are you ready? <clears throat> All right, think hard about what's going to arrive, and I'll tell you exactly something about her. Bachelorette number one has won quite a few beauty titles. She would enjoy that closed-circuit TV in your apartment. She practices judo, David, <clears throat> so watch out. She plays tennis and softball. Her name is Lori Wagner. Lori, come on and say hello to David. Wow. David, we know of a place which combines some of the most magnificent scenery in the world, plus a nightlife that matches any place around these here parts. The name of that place is British Columbia, Canada. That's right. You and Lori and your dating game chaperone will be flying to Vancouver, where you'll be driven to the fabulous Harrison Hot Springs Resort, where you'll be enjoying such activities as swimming, tennis, riding, water skiing, not to mention romantic dining and dancing, of course, exciting entertainment. Your host for your Canadian spree will be Mr. Roland B. Worley, who is Deputy Minister of the Department of Travel Industry for the beautiful province of British Columbia. You'll be flying to Vancouver via CP Air Space Master Jet, serving Canada. Enjoy your trip north of the border. Thank you both, David. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, you take right over there, get acquainted. It isn't often that a father a really is morning wheel watch. Again, don't forget to join us Monday. Dan, would you like to throw this? Everybody, come on, let's go. Tomorrow morning at 9 Eastern, join Laura Chambers and Steve Day for Club AM. 
It's a fun way to spend your morning with all the greatest game shows. Club AM, only on Game